Let's begin with a case. You are admitting a 55-year-old female with shortness of breath, congestive heart failure, and kidney disease. What do you need to know to take care of this patient? This is a typical case presentation to test your knowledge, and you must be able to describe the role of the kidneys, lungs, and endocrine system in regulating the body's fluid volume and electrolyte balance. Describe the management of patients with fluid volume deficit and fluid volume excess. Important medical terminology for this chapter includes acidosis, alkalosis, crystalloid. What clinical problems do we encounter as a result of fluid and electrolyte imbalance? We see hypovolemia, dehydration, and hypervolemia. An early sign of hypovolemia is a decrease in urine output. Urine output decreases because the kidneys receive less blood and compensate by decreasing urine output. Hypovolemia occurs when the loss of extracellular volume exceeds the intake of fluid. In hypovolemia, water and electrolytes are lost in the same proportion as normal body fluids. Dehydration, which refers to loss of water alone, is associated with an increased serum sodium levels. Hypervolemia is fluid volume excess, or too much fluid. This may also occur with renal failure, heart failure, and over-administration of sodium containing intravenous fluids. Keep in mind that body fluids can move between compartments. Our body works hard to keep the system in equilibrium, and the kidneys will increase or decrease urine output to compensate and maintain fluid balance. The electrolytes in the body are positively charged cations and negatively charged anions. The major electrolytes are sodium, chloride, potassium, bicarbonate, hydrogen, calcium, magnesium, and phosphate. We commonly measure electrolyte levels in the blood. Sodium is so important in the body's fluid balance because it is present in a far greater amount than the other cations, or positively charged ions. Recall that the primary intracellular cation is potassium. What is this a sign of? Excess sodium. What is this a sign of? Excess potassium. What is this a sign of? Chloride deficit. What is this a sign of? Excess calcium. What is this a sign of? Excess magnesium. What is this a sign of? Phosphate deficit. What is this a sign of? Alkalosis. What is this a sign of? Acidosis. Thank you very much for watching this video and learning with QBank Pro Academy.